The ongoing need for more affordable housing here in the Coachella Valley is an issue we have been reporting on for years. News Channel 3's Tori King live in the studio with more on the local projects in the works to try to help. Tori. Well, hi, John. According to the latest census data, Riverside County is one of the fastest growing communities in the country. And that's exactly why the need for affordable housing is at its highest ever. The city of Palm Desert and a local developer are breaking ground on a new project to help fill that need. Hospitality industries, thankfully, are booming out in Coachella Valley. And a lot of those workers need housing. That's why Mark Bigley with UHC Communities is working on several projects around the county to meet that need. We recently finished the Veterans Village of Cathedral City development. We also have a uh, Horizons at Indio, which is a senior focused development. And then we're working on a couple other things. It's something he says is vital for people working in the valley. Karina Quintanilla, the mayor of Palm Desert, agrees. I'm looking forward to having conversations with people about having workforce housing. People hear the term affordable housing and it seems to be a negative idea when we realize we have to have people that work nearby. We have to have a place for our workforce to live. Currently, there are 1,011 affordable units planned for Palm Desert, including a 176 unit housing development on the corner of Dick Kelly Drive and Gate Drive in Palm Desert. Part of that will be reserved for those that are living within 30% below the average median income and another set for those that are under 60%. When planning the location of these developments, Bigley says they look at things like access, local services, and nearby amenities. We look to partner with uh, local service providers. In this case, we're partnering with the Family YMCA of the Desert to help with some after-school programs. We also look for ease of access. So obviously, I-10 is right off Monterey. Renderings show the 10 building property will consist of one, two, and three bedroom units, a community center, a pool, patio, barbecue and picnic areas, and tot lots for kids. They'll also be building community gardens and a dog park. The project's set to be finished by November of 2025. So the groundbreaking is set for 11 a.m. tomorrow. If you or anyone that you know wants more information about affordable housing projects that are all around the county, or if you would like to apply for affordable housing yourself, we do have a few links up on our website at KESQ.com. Live in studio, Tori King, News Channel 3.